Welcome to P2F Fighting. I'm James, and today we're going to do a video review on why it's good to have security or have your homeboy rolling with you. All right, so we're going to watch this video, and it's going to be very revealing about knowing who you roll with knowing who's with you knowing who's down with you when something goes down uh i can never stress this enough if you are running a business if you are just moving alone a lot you know making a lot of alone movements um or if you're just out in a public area that may be a semi-dangerous area you want to have friends with you but but these friends have to be friends that when shit gets real they get real don't roll with people that when it's time to get down they not cool with getting down because that's what that's what could have happened here but you know you had a couple thorough dudes right here that roll with each other let's check this out so you got the customer here who's acting like he's gonna buy something. This guy apparently is either his business or it's his, uh, you know, he's the cashier or whatever's going on. And there's a guy over here in the corner appearing to be sleep, right? So let's watch what happens. Oh, there's no sound also, just so you know. All right, so look what's happening. The guy walks over, acts like he wants something. He points off in the distance to get something that's on the guy's right. Of course, to make the guy get up and take his eyes off him while he pulls a machete, it looks like, on him. And then he immediately grabs something and starts to try to rob him and starts getting loud. When he gets loud, your homeboy in the back wakes up, which he apparently didn't notice at all. So let's see what happens now. Yes, sir. That's what happens now. <laughs> His homeboy got up, did a chop to the knife, to the machete, grabbed the dude from behind, and threw his ass on the floor and went to work on him. <clears throat> that is outstanding. That's the kind of friend you want or the kind of person you want with you when something goes down. <clears throat> My whole thing is, how did the weapon wielder not even notice the guy in the back. He didn't even notice him there. Did he think he was at sleep? That he was just gonna not do nothing? Like, you don't rob somebody when there's somebody else there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a professional robber or anything, but common sense would tell me to wait until the coast is clear before I proceed with a robbery, you know, or, 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 or anything like that. Like, you don't you don't try to take somebody's shit while they got a while they got someone with them. That's absolutely stupid. So I'm not sure what he was thinking on that note, but he sure as hell wasn't paying attention to the guy behind him. And so, you know, then this is what happens. He wakes up, gets up, look at that chop, yeah, grabs him, throws him, and goes to work. And they both go to work. That is outstanding. That is absolutely outstanding. Uh, so, the yeah, I've been saying it wrong. It's not robbery, it's burglary. I had to go look up the definition because I got it wrong. It's burglary. Entry in the building illegally with intent to commit crime, especially theft. That's what happened here. Burglary. Burglary. Oh my God, I can't even talk. Not robbery. So, yeah, let's review. Walks up to the desk. Says he wants something way off in the corner to get him to look that way. Look how he looks off that direction. Doesn't keep his eyes on him. This desk isn't very big. This is actually a real bad setup, man, for this guy because they're very close. I'm not sure. I'm not sure 
what the whole setup of this building is, but this is the desk where you're doing all your transactions. There's no security whatsoever without that other guy being over there, which is probably why he's there. I'm not sure if he's hired security or if he's just a friend, but he's sitting there just chilling and uh, in this very crappy looking place. But yeah, that desk, that's not doing a lot. He gets up, and as soon as he gets up, he goes for his hip. When I first saw this, I thought he was going to pull a gun because he went he went for his hip like he had a concealed uh, firearm. But then to my surprise, he pulls a damn machete <laughs> or a knife, whatever that is. And so that's that's that shocked me a little bit. And then he immediately reaches for an item over here, stuffs it in his pocket. See... He's still not paying attention. I don't think he pays attention until he starts shouting. Because he starts shouting here in a second. You can see it. See, right there. You saw his head. He went like this. He went. And he made a movement. You could see him do it. Something. He said something. Uh, and loud. Which is what got his attention. And then he's acting like he's going to hit him. And your boy gets up real quiet and smooth ninja-like. Yeah! Goes for the chop. Actually missed. He didn't actually get the knife. He actually took the chop and missed. But it didn't matter because your boy here, uh, 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 Captain Criminal right here, uh, absolutely didn't realize that the dude was behind him at all. And there's a large size difference. Look at these two. He's dwarfing that guy. I mean, there's got to be a 30 pound weight difference right there, too. But yeah, he grabs him from behind. And throws him to the floor. And so, yeah, they went to work on him. He deserved every bit of that. Now, moral of this story. This story I related to my channel. Self-defense. You can't win them all. But you can usually have help. If you've got help with you, you can win most of them. In this situation, without that guy being there, he would have got robbed. I mean, yeah, he would have got he would have got everything taken from him. This dude came in here with the intent to take everything, and he was going to do that. And he had the weapon, because you can see that he's bigger than him, too. He's the smallest dude in here. He's bigger than him, but the size don't matter when he's got a machete. So, but he had a he had security or a friend, one or the other. Good thing he woke up, because if he would have robbed him, if he would have got, if he would have stole everything he had, and he's laying there asleep... Oh, you fired. You're fired. You're fired from being a friend, and you're fired from being security. But he had a buddy with him, and they got the job done. So, moral of the story, roll with a friend. You're in a public area or an area where you're dealing with people that you don't know. If you can roll with somebody else that's willing to go down with you like this guy did, make sure that you roll with real people. I have seen situations where... There's two or three guys rolling together, and they think that just because there's more, they outnumber someone else or another group, that that is enough to give them the advantage if something goes down. There are people who don't give a shit about that there's multiple of you. And there's people with weapons. If one guy walks up to a group of three and starts mouthing off, bucking, acting like, feeling froggy, you better believe either that dude knows how to fight real, real good or he's got a weapon and don't give a damn about how many of you is there because he's about to cover it with whatever he's got. Numbers don't always matter. What matters is the fight in the dog. You roll with your homeboy or your homegirl and they got some fight to them, that's what you need. A guy like that. A guy that's going to get up and, 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 to, and, and also he was behind them. And he did know the dude didn't see him. I don't know if it would have been the same if they both would have been in front of him. But who knows? We're not going there. Right now we're talking about what happened. What happened is the guy got up and defended him. When you roll somewhere that's unfamiliar or in a crowd of potentially aggressive like a club or a mosh pit or something where y'all are acting crazy or there might be drugs and alcohol, roll with people that are real. Roll with people that are going to get down for you when it's time to get down. That's all I got. You got any stories? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share. Holla at your boy.